Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lainey and today we are going to be working on the entrance here on Maple Elm. It's going to be more of a simple build, really foresty and flowery, but something that we can definitely expand on in the future as our island grows. I didn't really have a plan once I started this build, I just sort of went for it. <laughs> Um, but a lot of the things that I do end up doing in the beginning do get changed. Uh, for instance, I decide to add a bridge off to the left and it ends up changing pretty much the entire um, front entryway path that I end up doing, but um, that's okay. How have you been so far? I am. Um, I honestly have been struggling um, a little bit with my mental health, so I ended up um, cutting back my hours at work a little bit, and I have been able to focus a lot more on myself lately, and it has honestly been game changer. Um, I have noticed a huge difference um, in my mentality. Off to the left over here is a little pond picnic area that I put together on vacation for my anniversary uh, the other week. So um, I thought it came out really cute, but I do end up changing quite a bit of it. Uh, I make it into more of a pathway for the entrance and the bridge that I end up putting in. I will go ahead and put all of the um, design codes for everything that I did end up saving and using uh, down in the description below. So if you're curious as to what I used for anything and you don't see that I posted a code, just go ahead, comment below, and I will try my very best to um, let you know what that is. Okay, so right here is where I decided that I wanted to go ahead and add a bridge to the entrance. Um, so just trying to figure out uh, getting spacing right. Um, and then, yes, as you can see here, I do have to redo that um, entry path, which is fine. I do end up liking how it came out the second time around better. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of how the design code looked um, on the dirt path versus how it looked over the grass. I think it looked way better over the grass, so kind of happy that I had to redo that. So I don't know if you could tell, but hyacinths are 100% my favorite flower here on Animal Crossing. Um, and I don't really know if I want to try to keep a collective color theme for the flowers on my island. Um, like stick with a blue, white, purple type theme, which is sort of what I was going for um, here in the beginning, trying to use mostly the blues and the purples. But um, I don't know, maybe switching it up on different parts of the island, like one part has more orange and red flowers and another will have um, or oranges, I already said orange, <laughs> but you know, something like that. Yeah, I think this path definitely 
looks better over the grass versus the dirt path. And then we're also going to fix up the path over on this side of the bridge. Um, I like to leave some breaks in my paths, um, give it more of like a worn-in sort of feel, I guess. Um, I don't know, I think it just adds to the more natural aesthetic of the island. And right now I am just working on um, building up the second layer um, of this section. <laughs> um, yeah, just bringing it out a little bit um, and then that way I can focus on sort of filling in the space in the background um, from the foreground of the entrance. Um, just making it look a little busier and, and more put together so then it looks like a more interesting scene when you are looking um, at the background from, like I said, the foreground. And I definitely 100% um, did not, um, not go to a treasure island <laughs> to stock up on items for this build. The wheat fields have definitely become one of my favorite items to use. I think really has become everyone's favorite item to use uh, to fill up space. Um, I like the green wheat field um, for the more foresty aesthetics because it just looks like tall grass um, and running through like a really tall meadow or something and I think it is lovely. I think one of the hardest parts of doing this entrance was trying to make sure that I had enough trees scattered around to fill in the empty space. One of my biggest pet peeves with the game is tree placement and the fact that the game is seemingly so, 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 so picky about where you can and cannot place a tree. One block distance uh, between a cliff and then a one block distance also between water. Um, so you need a minimum of three blocks between a cliff and a body of water um, in order to have one tree right smack dab in the center. You can't have it up against a cliff. Uh-uh, no, that is not okay. And oh. If you even try to put that right up against a ledge of water, no, that is dangerous and they will not allow it. I decided to add um, a little I guess hidden pathway um, up here. There's a little ladder coming up to the second level and I end up building a little pathway to a little sunken um, area that I'm not quite sure what I want to do with yet. Um, I'm sort of maybe thinking I'll make it like a little abandoned gardening area. Um, I do end up making the pathway split off into two a different directions. So. Um, one way will take you to a specific area of the map, and then the other will be, like I said, um, some sort of abandoned gardening area or something of the sorts, who knows.
And then I do end up deciding to swap out this fortune telling kit with a cassette player and now I just need to get some good music to go in here. I also felt like guests needed a little place to sit upon arrival, so I found a little bench and ended up placing that just right here. And there's CJ, always in the way. Alright, let's... It's... Come on, CJ. Let's, okay, I'm just gonna skip to the next day. Um, we have still got quite a bit of work to do, so let us continue our daily duties. So we are going to focus right now on terraforming um, and getting the back and front levels of this third level um, to connect, and that is sort of going to build the little sunken area that I was talking about before. So what is your favorite type of Animal Crossing videos to watch on YouTube? I know I definitely really enjoy watching the speed builds and the island tours. Um, and I'll watch a Let's Play here and there, but, um, I definitely, my focus will more so go towards the builds and the, the inspiration. Um, but I'm curious to know what you guys enjoy, um, and what you would like to see more of. I've also been thinking about trying out streaming lately, um, but that just makes me extremely nervous. But yeah, doing things live um, in front of an audience just, you know, isn't really my forte all the time. Makes me nervous. I'm an anxious person, um, but I know that it definitely looks a lot of fun um, having other people there to interact with while playing the game. So. Um, yeah, I'm definitely um, looking forward to trying that out here pretty soon. I'm really just going back and forth right now um, between the levels and making sure that I've got enough space filled, um, not leaving too many gaps. I'm trying to really give it that busy forest sort of feel. We are getting closer and closer to feeling complete, but I feel like we need another tree right at this entrance. So I am going to finesse my way around this little center area and get a little tree in there. All right, and this area is starting to look so cute. I'm loving the waterfalls in the background and the trees, uh, but I feel like I can get another tree um, up here in this background. So that is what I am going to do really quick. Now, I think adding that tree was the perfect finishing touch for this entrance. Uh, 
I hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out and doing this build with me. Um, I really had a lot of fun. I think that it came out so perfect. Um, nice and simple, lots of trees, lots of flowers, and something that we can definitely expand on in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I sure had a lot of fun putting together this entrance. Um, but make sure you go ahead and subscribe and follow my Instagram. I'll have that linked down below in the description um, if you want to hang out over there at all. <laughs> um, but I will see you guys in the next one.